Welcome to this look at the add-on straw harvest pack with some more tips, tricks and questions answered with me, Mr Silly P. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. This will probably be the last one, I promise. I say I promise. It depends if I get loads more messages. Um, but after the, the last one, people seem to respond quite well to it. And since then, I've had more messages and more comments and more stuff. So I thought, you know what? Let's do another one. Why not? Let's get it out there. So as I probably already said in the intro, uh, tips, tricks, warnings, and answering some more questions. So... I'll crack straight on with it, shall I? Straw Harvest Pack by Creative Mesh. The Bale Collector, just here. Thank you, I'm going to say these names first. Uh, thank you to Brett, James, DJ Goham, Craig, um, and there were other people that commented, and if I've missed anybody's comments, I do apologise, but those guys, again, I've said before, they were Johnny on the spot, bam, 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 with, with um, uh, comments, questions, answers to questions, that kind of thing, so I've just given them a bit of a shout-out. But... The bale collector has a known issue. Now, if you remember when I did my first look at the um, straw harvest pack, my kind of mod review of it, um, I was going along and I was catapulted into the shadow realm, you know, and I had to reset. Um, Creative Mesh are aware of it. It is causing game crashes, it is causing blank screens, and it, at times it's causing the menus to slow down. I said the other day, I thought it was weird, that when I was doing my mod review, um, I said it was going to crash. I knew it, was, it started spinning. Everything ground down, ground down. They are aware, they are working on it, but it might take a while. So just be aware, the Bale Collector is a fantastic bit of kit, but it is causing problems. So you might be better off steering clear for it until it's sorted, but that, of course, is entirely your choice. Right, next then. If you're finding that the Primus 5000 is a little bit slow for your liking, or you just want to try a different way of making some pellets... This is this is bonkers. Um, I'm, I probably did this before, but I'd just forgotten. Um, Craig messaged me and said he was just doing something, you know, something I've done quite a lot, where I use the um, the lizard forage pickup. I've put the details of the mods and what they are in the description. So the forage pickup, I think that's by Fluffy Mods, um, and I use that when I do bale, uh, when I do contracts like straw and barley and oats and things like that that leave a straw swath behind. And when you're doing a contract, if you use that, you can then go and you can pick up the straw. So what um, he was doing was doing that, picking up straw off of a contract, but he was using a, a feed wagon. Like, a, I think my might do it in a forage wagon. No, forage pickup with a mixer wagon. So he was using a mixer wagon and something very strange happened. So, top tip and trick from Craig. Let's switch to the front. Let's turn that on. Oh, no, I didn't put the grass. No, no, no. That already picked grass up off the floor. How to do that? Right, let's unload that here. Let's get that out. Turn that off and wait till I get to my... Uh, actually, you know what I should have done? Let's get that on and that on. Now, I'm not, not going to lie with this one. This one's got me a little bit baffled. Um, because I was going to say one thing. And then when I accidentally picked up that grass... That has tripped something out. I'll show you with the straw, because it works with the straw. But I tested it, I set everything up and I tested it. And it was doing the same with straw and hay. So let me switch this to the front, I'll turn this on. So as you can see now, it's picking up the straw, but it's tripping out and it's making it into pellets. And this runs considerably faster. And for the amount going in, if you think if I was using the Primos, that would be compacting down the straw I had. So you would lose three quarters of it. It compresses it all down, so a four to one. But I've almost got 9,000 litres of pellets in here, which would be equivalent to a full load on the Primos, right? And I've done that, bang, really, really quickly. And the thing with that is, you'll see in a moment with your pellets, because the pellets have been compacted, when you then use the pellets elsewhere, they will go back to their original form. So four times larger. They kind of, it's like those, what were those little pellets years ago? You could add water to and they would expand. It's like that. 
So once you use your pellets for something else, they will go back to their original form. It will make sense in a moment. But what I'm more puzzled about is the fact that this worked with hay. I tested it. It was working with my hay swaths that are on the floor until I picked up that bit of grass. Once I picked up that bit of grass by accident, it now won't do hay pellets, which is peculiar. I mean, the fact it does straw pellets is amazing. So I mean, I've literally just done a tiny little bit and got 9,000 litres. Now that should convert over. Actually, what I should have done really was put it somewhere where it would convert over, but I'll, it, you'll see anyway. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to unload this because... There we go, it is technically unloaded. Um, I'm going to try it with the hay. I'm, I'm puzzled as to why the hay has stopped working. Um, but at least you can do straw. So I know he did message me. Uh, Craig said he was doing a straw pickup and it was the straw that was working, but this was working with the hay. No, it's just picking up as hay. That's curious. But anyway, so that does work for faster straw collection and turning straw swath into pellets without using a pelletizer and faster and it seems to be putting in like for like rather than compressing it because actually the Primos is compressing pellets now that's obviously that's a glitch it's, it's a glitch it's, it probably shouldn't be putting that loose in there but it is so let's move on to the other things then the animals so the question was asked uh, James had messaged me and asked about animals and said can you use pellets for animals but if you look into the menu and you go to animals and with the straw add-on on if you look along on the right hand side it says cow stall it shows hay pellets there now it doesn't mention anything about straw but the straw will work for bedding as well and it does work for modded ones as well so if you scroll across if it takes hay it will take it the horses the same uh, the pigs don't take any the sheep will take the hay chickens don't require it um, so it does work with animals and that's what I was talking about. So at the moment I've got 1,600 litres of hay pellets there and they've been compressed. So that would have originally been 6,400 litres of hay. The Primos has gathered that hay up, compressed it down to 1,600 litres of pellets. Now what should happen, unless this goes horribly wrong, which I'm assuming it's going to. Now I'm not sure actually how... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it over this side. I need something that I know. I'm not sure if that will take 6,400 litres. So if we take this across for the cows. There we go. So what should happen is I unload this in. It will take the 1,600. But rather than just have 1,600 litres of hay pellets in there. It puts it back in as a full amount of hay. So people were asking well I don't want to do the pelletizing I don't want to do the palletizing I don't want to make hay and straw pallets um, if that's all it's good for then what's the point but that's the thing because you can use them for animals as well and the pellets take up far less storage space a quarter of the storage space of other things it can work really well so what should happen now please work <laughs> you want it to be a horrendous mistake now right so if I now check on my animals and we go to our cows, 6,399 litres of hay. So that 1,600 litres has gone back to its original form. It has re-expanded, reinvigorated. So that works, and it, it works brilliantly, no problem at all. Now I'll show you with the straw as well, because it will work with the straw as well. If I just open the door here. Same thing, got 1,600 litres in this trailer. I did that because uh, rather than having a weird, strange number... Now, it's a case of finding where the trigger is. Some barns and buildings will only allow straw blowers. Some, they're in awkward positions. Some of the... It will work, it will, this is a modded cow barn. Um, obviously, it worked with base game again. Whether, if you can find the straw trigger, some of the base game ones are a little bit tricky to do. So if I tip the straw pellets in now, that should then do the same thing. I should have 6,400 litres of straw. I'll leave that to chug away. Again, sheep, just to show you, we've got horses, we've got cows, we've got sheep, and it will work with all of them. Get that going in. Nearly there. So back to our cows, we should have 6,309, we've lost a litre of straw, that's gone in, so that's worked perfectly. If we go to our 
Well, that's still going. But as you can see with the sheep, that should hit. 6399 in a moment. Please hit. There we go. So it's worked with the sheep as well. So does it work with animals? Yes, it does. And it, because I think the concern was if you're taking all that straw, all that hay, and it's compacting it down, so you're losing three quarters of it to make pellets. If I then use that for your animals, you're going to need four times as many pellets, but you don't. It just expands back out again. It's absolutely fine. Now, what I will do, uh, turn the engine off on that. The other one is running. I probably should just close the gate. I know. People do get a bit stressed if I leave gates and doors and things open because the animals can can escape. So what we'll do, I can do it from this as well. If I put the uh, pipe down. So it will take it from there, no problem at all. Now, something I haven't tried, which I'm just thinking actually, which would answer a question, can you use pellets to make total mix ration? Because if you've got straw and you've got hay, obviously it doesn't do silage pellets, but that's fine. That's really not, I'm, I'm really baffled by that. All by picking up straw. Now what I did do when it first did it, and I thought that's weird, why has it done that? I reset all of this, I reset the front collector, I reset the tractor and the um, mixer wagon and it still did it so I sold them or returned them I got new ones because I thought maybe it's just tripped it out and it's still doing it so yeah that that puzzled me somewhat but I think it'll be the same if you try to do uh, a feed mix if you're storing pellets it should as far as I'm aware let's get rid of the straw um, it should put the pellets back again or oh, is it just going to put pellets in? That's curious. I'm interested to see what happens here. Because technically you should be able to make tell mix ration using them in the mixers. So we'll see what happens here. Whether it goes back to hay. And this is sort of answering the question. This wasn't part of the testing I was going to do at all, but... Put a little bit in, not too much. Maybe like 500 litres or something. I think it's just putting it back in his pellets. There. Yeah. What has it? No. There you go. Let's put it back in. So 500-ish litres of pellets has now gone to 2,244 litres of um, hay. So if you're going to do total mix ration, if you are using straw as well, some people just do silage and hay. Uh, it depends on the mixer because some mixers specify you have to have mineral feed, you have to have a certain mix to get total mix ration. But if you are doing just silage and hay, it's a good way to store your hay. Uh, if you are doing straw as an additional to pad it out, it will work with the straw as well. So that's pretty cool. Happy that works. Um, and then finally, DJ messaged me because I was asked a question about silos. Now, there are so many silos. Um, available so many multi-fruit silos you get to that position where it's like well okay this is a tricky one because i can't test every single silo there are silos that will take pellets but what does take pellets really well and what works really well i've got to make sure i get the right way around the global goods um transport pallet by 82 studio this bag here and i've used this on all different ones um and it's unreal capacity that will do two two hundred thousand liters so as a, a portable storage silo, if you're going to be doing um, hay and straw pellets and you don't want to use the palletizer, you can store them in these. And these are liftable even when they're full. So if you then want to make mixes or feed your animals, you just put it over the triggers and it'll work. So I've just got to make sure it gets the right way around. Because it has to be, you've got auto load and discharge. There we go, look. You can see bottom right is filling up. Now this doesn't turn it back to straw. This keeps it as pellets. So everything was in there will go in. Four thousand and thirty-five liters of straw pellets in my bag. You can see the bag is starting to fill up. If I take the straps off, 
I can lift that then carry it around I should also be able to in theory <laughs> so I can put my bedding in you see how it's going from there into there my straw pellets it's saying pellets but that 4,000 litres added to what was in there now. There's 22,539 litres of straw. Whoops. Has gone in. So that is a brilliant... So this is, that's another one of those top tips and tricks. Thank you for tipping me the wink on that, DJ. I do appreciate it. Um, so again, just a few little things to help out. I'm puzzled by the, the hay thing. What I might do is reset this all. So come out, reset it all and see uh, what I might do is come on without the straw harvest deselect it come on save my game then come back in again with it reselected and see if I can trip it back into doing it if I can I'll show you that before I end um, if not I'll go straight to an ending but um, yeah I'll give that a try and see if I can get it to do the pe the um, hay pellets because it's a curious one but that's a, like I say a few tips tricks helpful hints a warning um, just might help Okay, so I reset everything, I took everything off, deselected uh, de straw harvest, came back on, saved it, came back out, redid it. But, what I've just noticed, I, I'm, I'm starting to doubt myself now whether I dreamt it or not. If you look at the mixing ratio to the top left, it shows on the mixing ratio at the icons, it shows hay as just hay. Silage is silage, but the straw is showing the straw pellets. I could have sworn... I picked up hay and it turned it into pellets. But it definitely works with the straw. So that's that's a certain. And um, for those people that have already commented, because if they were looking at that up on the top left hand side of the screen, um, I, I'm sure I tested it before I started recording and it did pellets. But regardless, it will it will do straw pellets, no problem at all. Um, and that's it for this, like I say, everything's gone. So all the stuff that I had out there, like I say, I had to reset everything. Um, and that's it for this sort of helpful hints, questions, answer, tips, tricks, whatever you want to call it. Um, I hope you found it useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.